Hey, what's going on, RC drivers? Welcome back to the workshop. On the bench here is a Traxxas slash drag car project that I've been working on. It's a parts bin car, really. That's going to be in an upcoming video, but I need a body for this car. And I've got this Proline Octane body that needs to be painted up. And I figured, you know what? Why don't I start the cameras rolling so I could show you guys this body being painted. It's just gonna be a simple paint job using some Duratrax paint, some masking tape, and you know your basic hobby tools like scissors and a hobby knife. So uh, why don't I go and get this body washed up. Uh, uh, you do that just in case there are molding oils on the inside of the body that won't allow the paint to adhere properly. So I'll wash it up with some dish soap and then I will start masking it up and show you how easy it is to create a cool looking body with some simple materials. I just wanted to take a second to thank our sponsor for today's video, shelving.com. If you need custom shelving for your workshop, check out shelving.com. I'll have a link in the video description below, as well as a discount code for RC driver viewers. All right, so we got the body all washed up, dried off, and I even went and cut off the excess Lexan here where the spoiler was. That's gonna get painted separately, and now you can just maneuver the body a bit easier. Now it's time to go and install the window mask that Proline includes. I've already gone ahead and weeded off the excess, so it's easier to pull these off, and I'm just gonna simply pull it off and apply it to the body and then use the back side of my thumbnail to push down on the edges to make sure any air bubbles are removed from under that mask. Got my window mask on and pressed down and next up is just determining what i'm going to do for the scheme and again this is going to be something really simple i'm just going to use these pinstripe masks here to create some lines on the side and i'm just going to do a nice fade down here i think the top is going to be blue i have a full can of blue paint so that's why it's got to be blue up top then i think i'm going to do a white pinstripe followed by a thicker gunmetal stripe and then i'm going to use the orange and yellow to fade into white here on the bottom i think that'll look really good nice and simple and I won't feel really bad if I crash and it'll look good out there while I'm speeding down the strip. All right, so I've got my pinstriping on the body here. Uh, first, I use this thicker masking tape from Tamiya. It's not as flexible as this other stuff. This is more of like a vinyl masking tape. So be aware of the style of tapes that you buy. Uh, you know, if you're making corners and stuff like that, a standard style of masking tape is not gonna flex too much. But I was able to get a curve here and I ran my thicker line on the bottom, then went back and ran my thinner line up top. And then I actually put another layer of this on between the two lines to make sure no paint bleeds between the two, you know, while I'm painting the other colors. And uh, I'll pull that second strip of masking tape off when I go to uh, go and spray my, my pinstripes here. But next up, I have to go ahead and cover the lower part. So I'm just gonna take my regular wide masking tape, two inch wide masking tape and cover the bottom here. And then I'll be ready to spray my blue. And typically I like to spray the larger area of color first. So let's say if you had a lighter color here and uh, you wanted to paint the darker color later on down the road, you have to make sure that you back your lighter colors properly. Uh, sometimes if you use a white, a blue will come through. So you have to use a silver behind the white in order to back it properly so other colors don't come through. And that comes with some experience and just kind of think about the colors that you're using as you go along. So I'm gonna go block this off on the bottom here and we'll start spraying this body. All right, I've got the lower area blocked off here and pressed down. It's a good idea to go back one more time and push down all of your masking, especially in the corners to make sure there are no bleeds. Even these body lines here, if you don't push down with your thumbnail on that line, you'll get some bleed there and uh, of course mess up your paint job. So now it's time for me to head outside and spray the body. Uh, I am going to use the blue of course, and uh, what I like to do is warm up the can in some hot water first that builds up pressure in the can and gives you a finer spray. So let's head outside now and I'll give you some tips on how to actually spray with the can. 
All right, so I got my paint can all warmed up. And before we start spraying the body, if you've never sprayed an RC body before, take a piece of scrap flex in and practice on it. You wanna get your distance right so you don't puddle up the paint and you get drips on your body. So practice on multiple pieces of flex hand so you get the right distance down for when you go to paint the body. All right, so now that you've practiced painting, it's time to go ahead and paint the body. Now you don't want to start spray painting right in the center of the body. You want to start on the outside with your spray, go across in a nice smooth pattern and finish at the end here past the body. You just want to do light coats. After a few light coats, let the body dry and recoat the body until it's opaque. So I've got the blue laid down. It was a total of about four coats, allowing about 20 minutes to a half hour of dry time between each one. It was a really humid day out, so it took a little bit longer for everything to dry. Now it's time to move on to this lower color uh, panel here. And this is where I'm gonna do the orange into the yellow into the white. So I'm just gonna peel off the tape and uh, I'll go on to spraying with my colors. Now I'm gonna start off with the orange in the front, again, heating up the can to uh, give it some more pressure so it'll get it give it a much nicer finer spray up front and uh, i'll be able to blend it a little bit nicer uh, than if i was just to spray it straight out of the can without warming it up All right, I've gone ahead here, I've sprayed my orange and then I've done my yellow fade. And uh, when I'm spraying, what I like to do is basically hold the can so it's spraying towards the painted side of the body. You don't wanna spray when you're fading towards the unpainted side because you get some overspray where you wanna put your next color. So try to hold it down on an angle and spray again towards the painted side. And if you're painting outside and there's any sort of wind, uh, again, have the wind Push that paint over spray towards the painted side so you don't get anything on the clear part. Now, sometimes over spray does get on the back side. It does like to stick kind of where some of the adhesive has been from the tape. And sometimes you can get it off, sometimes you can't. I have a little bit here and what I like to do is just take my finger and kind of wipe it off. And the, uh, the coarseness of your, your fingers will kind of sand the paint just a little bit. So you just kind of feather it out with your fingers um and again you do this when it's dry so uh you don't smear any of the paint so i'm just going to go get rid of some of this yellow overspray in the back and then i'm going to move on to painting my white and because i'm going to have one of these pinstripes white i'm going to pull the, the pinstripe tape off and then i'll spray everything white all in one shot All right, so I finished off my fade by spraying the white, covered uh, the yellow and the orange as well. That really brightened it up and it took care of my pinstripe as well. Uh, and then I moved on to using this base coat white because I'm going to use the gunmetal up next and I don't want this gunmetal to go and uh, kind of darken up the, uh, the fade here. So that base will really block everything. So when I go and put the gunmetal down, it won't bleed through. And so this gunmetal is now going to take care of this pinstripe here. And I figured, you know what, since I had my exact a knife handy I went and cut out the window trim as well that will be gunmetal and then my spoiler will be gunmetal so I'll take care of all of that right now and then the body will be done nice quick and easy paint job
Well, I think this turned out really good for just throwing a few hours at it and using up some old Kansas spray paint. Now, if you're getting into RC painting, I really think that using some masking tape techniques and some spray cans is really the way to go to learn before maybe you progress to airbrushing later on down the road. You know, find some different sized masking tapes, block off some areas of the body to keep your paint job simple and really learn on how to use the spray can so you get a nice even coat and you don't get any drips. All right, I really hope this video helps some people out with some inspiration and techniques. If you have any other questions or comments, throw it in the section down below. While you're there, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.